Hello everyone, welcome to another Router Gods video. My name is Humphrey Chung, and this is going to be a multi-part series about how to boot up Linux on a USB thumb drive. Reason you might want to do this is if you want to play around with Linux, but you don't want to dual boot your laptop or mess around with your laptop, this is the perfect way to go, one of, one of the ways you could do it. And by booting off a thumb drive, you're just accessing the operating system on a thumb drive, and you're not changing any settings on your regular computer. So it's a pretty nice way to go. Okay, so the first part is we need to buy a thumb drive, assuming you don't have one already. If you do have one, you could just skip to part two. But here, we are using Newegg. Go to computer hardware, click on that. And then on the left side, you're going to see flash memory and readers. Click on that. And then USB flash drives, and click on that. And you can see here, we've got lots and lots of models we could choose from. What you're looking at is the capacity. That's going to be the most important thing. As we click on more, you can see these USB thumb drives at this current moment, uh, it's July 2011, they go up to 256 gigabytes. You definitely don't need anything that large. In, in fact, for Linux, all you need is a 4 gig stick. 2 gigs will probably work too, but 4 gigs is kind of the sweet spot. So click on 4 gigs. Now the reason you don't need a larger one is to make this boot up you're going to probably need to put this into FAT32 file system. And the FAT32 file system works best at 4 gigs. Anything past that is kind of a waste. So click on 4 gigs right here. And then what I like to do is I like to sort by best rating here. And you can see we've got a Patriot 1 rated 5 eggs. A lot of people have reviewed this speed classes 200 times, which is pretty good. This is water and shock resistant. I actually have this same model except in the 8 gig version. This is an excellent one and it's 12 bucks. So go ahead and buy that. And when it arrives, see me again on part two.